Why does this character look like the Happy Mask Salesman? Hello everybody, this is Drew and Aller. Previously on Wind Waker, we got a few uh, treasure charts. Oh, I can actually show them to you. Um, well, actually we got some Triforce charts. Two of them. Uh, number seven and number two. And we also got this treasure chart here in Six Eye Reef. We opened the treasure chests in Six Eye Reef that that treasure chart led us to. Today, what we're gonna be doing is, uh, first I'm gonna show off the statue that we got a few episodes, either last episode or the episode before, uh, when we handed in the picture of Ganon, Dor Ganondorf. And then we're gonna do some other stuff. We're gonna turn in our um, Knight's Crest and then we're gonna do another thing while we're back. We're gonna turn them in uh, to Orca on Outside Island and then we're gonna do a second thing there. And then uh, then we'll see how it goes. So let's talk to the character here. Welcome Link. The figurine you requested is already. It's been a long time since I've done work this exceptional. Orange heart. Go in that door to check it out. I've put it in the room right across from me. You can't miss it. So it's right here. Oh yeah, because that's Forsaken Fortress. Art style. Or artwork. Forsaken Fortress. Looks like. Oh. It changes the thing there. And here's the Ganondorf statue. Oh, info. Ganondorf. Base of operations. Effective weapons. Oh, what's... I don't know. Master Sword. Well, I mean... Our Master Sword is not yet fully operational, so we have to fix that first before we can use it against them. The possessor of the Triforce of Power, Ganondorf, controls many fell beasts. It is useless for Link to try to face him alone. He must look for an ally who can aid him in battle. Okay, that's neat. Oh wait, I forgot to... You can like zoom out. And then go around. Like this. And you can actually see what... Um characters look like everywhere on the outside of their statue like this. And you can see what Ganon's um, shoes look like. See? So, we're gonna go. I'll see you at Outside Island. Oh wow, it really has us out really far. I'm actually thinking that the red ones here. Actually, no, it's not automatically ones that put on your, that get put on your map because Ice Ring Isle is not one that's automatically put on your map. But maybe, no, it's not Northern Triangle Island. It's not the Triangle Islands either because those you have to go to and I think they put these things here on your map. I really genuinely don't know what determines what's a red map and what's a or what's what's a red name square and what's not i'm actually first going to go get some more bait from beetle some all purpose bait i'm going to get one of these oh we don't have any more Here. And now, we're just gonna go up to um, Orca's house up here. Right up here. Ah, oh, Link. You are alright. Why did you not tell me about Errol? That was thoughtless of you. This island has seen hard times ever since you departed. Hmm. I do not know what you have been doing on your journey, but you seem a little more daring these days. That look in your eye is not the one you left here with. Very good. 
Show me just how much you've improved your sword skills. Okay. Oh wait, it goes right into this. If you say so, your skills with the sword are still at the level of a page. Very good. Try to hit me 100 times or more before I hit you three times. kind of shuffles along the floor instead of actually walking. That's weird. Enough. Didn't go far enough that time. Ah, oh, 152 blows. You have improved. I guess it was wrong of me to treat you like you're still a lowly page. You are a page no more. Now you are a knight. Knight. It is not much, but it is now yours. Take this with you. And we get a purple ruby. And talk to him again. Do you wish to fight me again? What say you, Link? I'm gonna make sure that I turn in my Knight's Crest. I'm just doing this first. <laughs> Very good, Knight. Now try to hit me 300 times before I hit you three times. Okay, I can do this. Um, I wanna go to options, change targeting mold. To mode to switch so that it, I don't have to keep holding down the L button. Oh. Yeah. 
You have to push the A button to confirm your changes. Oh. Oh, I didn't expect that Link would go forward like that when I oh, did that. Oh, I didn't think that would happen either. Oh. I was trying to get Link back there. Okay, now I'm gonna turn in the next best before I forget. Oh. Oh, why? That is a knight's crest. How many of those do you have? Hmph. <laughs> then I suppose the time has come for me to speak to you about the crests. The knight's crest. It is a symbol of a courageous knight. But not just anyone can gather them. No. It takes a soul who possesses not only power, but wisdom and courage as well. Any courageous soul who gathers ten of these crests can learn a powerful new sword technique. Both my brother and I dreamt of learning this technique in our youths. In our youth, we l worked so hard to collect the crests, but it took so many long years and adventures beyond count before we even approached finding ten of them, and we both grew old. It appears you have enough might to learn that technique now. Perhaps, just perhaps, you can master it. Very good, Link. Heed my words. Hold B to build up power, then release it. Come at me, now. Do it. You learn the hurricane spin. Hold B to build up your power, then release it to perform a whirling attack with your blade. Remember, it consumes magic power. Amazing, Link. You did it. You have mastered the hurricane spin. At last, you have made our long-held dream come true. Oh, the joyful tears. They won't stop. I thought my tears had dried up long ago. There is nothing left for me to teach you. I am certain now that you will save your sister Errol and bring her home to Outset. Oh, you actually get your, um, nice crest taken away, I guess. Now I'm gonna try to do the other thing. Try to keep going on this. I tried to push hold the R button, but it, my shield didn't come out that time. Ah, 588 blows. You have improved. You have already become a fine swordsman, but I am certain that you can do even better. Link, take this. You got a piece of heart. So, for doing, for directly going to 500 instead of 300, you get a piece of heart, as far as I'm aware. 
I mean, 500 is the next thing up, but from what I remember. But 300, I think you get rupees too, but so, and I think the next one is 900, if I remember, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure it's not worth it. Are you happy just being a swordsman? Surely you can do better than that. Keep coming at me until I hit you three times. And I think it's like 900 from what I remember. Like that's the top thing that you can get. And if I remember correctly, it's really not worth it. But that's the, that's the, the biggest number you can... That's the biggest number that will be recognized. I mean, like, you can probably keep going, but that's the biggest number where Orca will be like, Oh, okay. And you'll want to use your shield, too, to make it easier. I didn't explain that before, but... that one. I'll try it again some other time. So anyway, let's uh, see what Orca's brother says now. And that's just... It's just right here. Oh, there's two characters in here. Orca, I mean Orca's brother, and then I don't know. I don't know what her name is, but. Oh, Link, you've come back, and in one piece, too gracious. The island has fallen on hard times lately, my young lad. You must have noticed all the monsters on your way here tonight. They come after dark to ravage our poor little village. And yet, it seems they're not here to harm us villagers. Quite puzzling. Ah. Is that you, Link? Well, looks as though you're safe. That's good to know. The island has really taken a turn for the worse since you left. I'm sure you noticed them, the monsters. Those horrible creatures. They rampage through town every night after dark. I'm scared. Too scared. Oh, you can go up here. I didn't know that. Maybe I did. Oh, whoops. I definitely didn't mean to do that. Promise. Oh. Oh, Sturgeon is his name. Oh yeah, that makes sense, because orcas and sturgeons are- no. Orcas and sturgeons are, um, both, um, types of fish. Here we go, I've broken all the pots in here. There's a... there's a light up there. wonder what happens if I go try to jump to it. Oh, I don't think I can. Nope. I don't think I can do that. Can I go out here? No. Oh, there's four pots. Yeah, okay, now I've officially broken all the pots. Time to leave before anyone catches me. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, next what I want to do is find not beetle. Um, and... 
Beetle's turn. So not Beetle is up there. Two squares from the left and three from the top. So I'll go up there. Okay, so now the wind direction is... West. Oh yeah, it just shows up there west. I need to go... North. There's a thing over here. That's where I am. Right on top of it. Red Rupee. So, 20. Let's make a quick stop over here at Great Fish to, to feed the fish. Yeah, to feed the fish so that... Oh, there's Beetle's ship over here too. After I feed the fish, I'm going to, I guess I could, like, go back into, go to Beetle's shop here to, to buy replacement bait. No. Oh. No, I'm going the wrong way. Whoops. See, Great Fish Isle is in red, too. You should come around these parts on nights when just a wee bit of the left half of the moon is missing. That's when it appears fry. And that, and that's it. I don't like clowns. Particularly creepy ones. I mean, pretty much every clown by default is creepy. But, I mean, particularly the ones that are designed to be creepy, I don't like because it's creepy. But I mean, for some reason though, they don't, for some reason they don't quite scare me the same way as regular clowns do? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because they're supposed to be creepy, so they're not creepy like clowns, if that makes any sense. Oh, Beetle doesn't have bait in here. Um, oh, the way that you sell is to show him, I guess. That's interesting. So we can buy arrows, bombs, and red potion. But, um, that's not anything that we need, so that's okay. Where's my boat? Oh, there's my boat. Now we need to go north. Yeah. Still going north. Oh, there's a thing over here. Oh, 
Oh, purple rupee. That's more than the other one that we got. That's nice. Oh, there's some enemies up here. Oh, and there's this thing. Oh, wait, they're gunboats. Or, yeah, gunboats. Oh, and the fish is up here. Oh, I didn't get that one. Guess we'll feed the fish up here. And I need to switch my... Um, targeting mode back because I prefer... Hold. And this one is, I don't remember for sure, Rock Spire Isle? Yep, Rock Spire Isle. That's right. I wonder how long it's been since the light in Windfalls Island, Windfalls Lighthouse, went dark. It was quite a grand sight, I tell you. The way that ray of light shone out like a shaft of gold through the cold darkness. I used to gaze at it with dear Gillian. Anyway, I bet it, if someone could shoot a powerful spark into the top of that lighthouse, it would light up again. Of course, that's just my intuition talking. Then again, you should never doubt a fish's intuition, small fry. And this is not Beetle. You can tell it's not Beetle because uh, the um, painting of Beetle is covered up on the sides. Oh, a fine welcome to you, young person that I've never seen before. You're so lucky to meet me at this time. This, this shop will close in just seven more days. And I'm having a clearance sale. Oh, we have 1,000 rupees now. And this is the last bottle. Empty bottle, MSRP. This is my last one. Piece of heart, open price. Because... Opening your heart, maybe? I don't know. This is my the, my last one of these two. Treasure chart, current price. The price may be high, but it'll pay off handsomely in the end. For now, I want to buy the empty bottle. 500 rupees? Not right now. 950 rupees for the piece of heart. How much is this? 950 rupees? No. I'll buy the bottle. Oh, thank you so much. You're happy. I'm happy. We're all happy. Bye. I don't have enough now. You can also tell it's not Beetle because he says that he's never met you and wears a, a Greek looking helmet. Greek military looking helmet. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna go over here and actually do this, I guess. Oh. I think we need bombs for this. So now we have all four, all four bottles. Yay. Um. I was wondering where the last bottle was. And I, I forgot that that's where it was. So we need to throw the bombs. Oops. We need to throw them with good timing. Wait a minute. You know it'd be easier.
This would be far easier. Fortunately, this is allowed. So now we just... Actually, I'm gonna pick up these rocks and break them. It's probably just, like, green rupees in there. Yeah, one green rupee in there. But it makes all the difference, really, in the end. Oh, that's magic. And that's just nothing. Oh, and here's another rock and nothing. All right, now we, now we need to go up to the top there. All right, now that I'm over here, we can just kind of walk, kind of jump over here. Grab that ledge, just jump over there, grab that ledge. I wonder... No, there's nothing on that ledge. Oopsie. Alright, now we're back here. Uh, got it. And then... Oh, you have to jump there. Good thing that I tried to jump. Or good thing I um, rolled there. To reach Western Fairy Isle, head west from here. And that's magic. Oh, blue choo-choos. Got it. There we go. Oh. Oh yeah. Yellow rupee. Because I already got the blue chew jelly. We have three of them. I think you need 20. Or maybe it's 15. I'm not sure. I don't remember how much it is for getting... For unlocking each... Um potion. Each potion by using chew jelly. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, and this is very dark. Um. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, here's the stuff that we can take a torch. And then light- oh, oh no! There's a bunch of keys. There's the hurricane spin. I guess it's actually easier to just... Um... Attack like this. Uh, I don't like how this sounds, it's too... So much noise. Did they go away? Okay. Oh, there's a chest that just spawns there, I guess. And then let's break this thing. Oh, okay, I missed that rupee, but that's okay. Now, I wonder what we get in here. Oh, treasure chart. All right. I guess you could say that this place was the bat cave. Is there anything else? Let me let me take one of these. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I thought I would be able to just 
roll with it. I'm gonna light it again there. I think that might be it. Yeah. All right. Uh, now that we've explored the Bat Cave just now. can't quite do that. Oh, there's a blue choo-choo again. It respawns, which is good if you miss it. Oh, and we get 10 more rupees. Nice. All right. Now that we've uh, gotten a piece of heart, we also, we got the uh, hurricane spin. We bought an empty bottle. Um, we fed the fish in these two squares. Uh, what else did we do? Uh, we got another treasure chart. Let's see which one that is. Oh, we also pulled up some, some rupees from the ocean. And that's there, wherever that is. Um, so yeah. We explored the bat cave as you just, as you just saw. Yeah, I think, I think that was a pretty good episode. Oh, we also showed the Ganondorf figurine there. Um, in the, in the figure gallery place. I think this is a pretty good episode. Goodbye for now.